Peace and greetings, everyone. <clears throat> I'm here uh, with another update on the ESP32 uh, RFID NFC device. Um, really cool um, device that is getting rolling updates. Uh, we are learning a lot more about this PN532 uh, RFID NFC module. Now, um, a lot of people might not think um, this can really do that much because there's really not that much code out on here. Um, but let's walk through uh, the awesomeness, which is this device. Um, thanks to uh, PCBWay, I was able to uh, make some really cool custom PCBs for this device. Uh, so it features an ESP C3 Super Mini. Now um, this is it has uh, Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth capabilities, um, which can do some really cool things in combination with the RFID module. Uh, it also has an SD card module, um, so you can put in a uh, micro SD card. Uh, there's also uh, three buttons, uh, SSD1306 screen, and uh, make sure if you get this uh, PCB, you get the correct uh, screen that has the VCC ground. Um, you can see that on the screen if you're not familiar with these screens, uh, because there are versions that are uh, ground VCC. So before you buy, uh, make sure you check for those ones. And then on the back, um, I designed it to save space, so then you solder uh, this on last. Um, so you'll solder all these components on first, and then you'll um, cut the uh, cut the pins down so there's room for you to then solder this on uh, last. And I chose red because why not? And it looks uh, super nice when it's all said and done. So let's uh, plug in the micro SD card. Boom. And we have uh, an assortment of some stuff to test this device out with. So I have uh, my own firmware I created for this. Cypher NFC, and um, it's going to be a rolling um, update. So here it loads the uh, SD card. It sees that's two gigs. Cool. So uh, the main functions I want to get out of the way first is uh, read and write and then uh, read NDEF messages and obviously erase. So it has three buttons and you can check out the uh, menu. And then there's a, even a SD card menu. And then you can uh, view all your files. And um, I just have some test files in here. And then you can uh, go back So go back to the uh, main menu. And the idea here is um, you'll be able to save um, certain data that you scan. And you'll be able to save to a uh, text file. And then I'm going to create ways to just like parse that and uh, load it in if you want to just clone a card real quick. Uh, but we have the read function here. And I have some uh, different uh, cool NFC cards, some blank ones. And then it gives uh, some cool data on the card. This is uh, NFC type four. So yeah, does some uh, basic read and um, this is a different one. So you could use the computer too, as well. And 
it's helpful for um, other functions. But yeah, that's basically uh, the gist uh, right now. Um, like I said, uh, I do have some other uh, functions that I'm testing. Um, going to uh, work a little bit more on the read endef and also read blocks. The blocks is more so for these uh, My Fair Classic cards, uh, but the read endef is more so for like NFC twos and um, you know threes and fours. Um, that's where the the records get a little bit more complex. And um, I'm working on some next level stuff with ISO 7816. And um, <clears throat> can't really talk too much about it, but it basically um, I have this contract I'm working on and uh, it involves uh, mobile driver's licenses. Uh, but probably when that project's a lot more done, I'll talk more so on how to do that uh, with these, um, which there's really no code at all uh, for, um, basically it's like the Google Pay, Apple Pay stuff. And then, um, been doing some cool stuff too with uh, as far as like NFC NFCs on um, like credit cards and that type of stuff, um, which I'll talk a little bit more later. Um, talk about some of the research I've done on that. Um, but basically, NFC cards are are like a digital contactless like uh, SD card. Um, it's basically the same idea. Um, you have to send certain commands to get into certain directories of that SD card, um, and then you could read uh, the files, per se, on um, these NFC cards. Uh, but it's kind of complex, but uh, I'm going to open source, hopefully, uh, most of my findings. Uh, but for now, you know, you could look at this just as like a RFID NFC reader development board, and you're free to um, use this as like a template to go deeper, whatever your use cases are. Um, you could even use this because it is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as just like an IoT device of sorts. Uh, but I'll put links down below uh, where you could find this and um, where you can get the PCB files and the schematics and um, the part list to uh, build this on your own. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions or if you're interested in working on um, other things or if you have any info on um, just like reading NDEF messages or um, if you have any work done on the ISO 7816, let me know. Uh, but I will be doing uh, more uh, videos on that because there's really not much resources on this type of stuff. Um, usually corporate or enterprise um, developers <clears throat> probably just keep it closed source. Uh, but yeah, there's some functions at least right now. Uh, so yeah, go check that out if you're interested, and I uh, hope you enjoy. Peace.